Uh, Peter Jackson's company, Weta Digital, created our monsters. They did Lord of the Rings and Avatar. And these monsters are just spectacular. And here we are in London talking about it. It's a good day. Hi, Bill. I'm Andrea from Italy. So, I'm fine, thank you. Hope you're fine as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the days of a modern web journalist, yeah. Um, so, I, speak, I spoke with the cast this morning at the junket. So, what I want to know from you is just like a, a couple of comments uh, about your future projects, like a Skyscraper and Red Notice. Oh, great. So, yeah, so we, sh we finished Rampage. We went right into Skyscraper. We shot that um, in Vancouver. It was an amazing experience. Um, Dwayne Johnson, Rawson Thurber, who I think is brilliant writer-director, um, that movie comes out July 13th um, with Universal. It, it's we've been calling it like Towering Inferno meets Die Hard, starring Dwayne Johnson. I mean, it's it's incredible, but it's really emotional and it's real about family values and has a lot of heart. I think the world will love it. And then we're going to go right into Red Notice. We start shooting that next year, and it's a big um, action kind of action thriller, action um, kind of um, unique art thief kind of you know style movie that I think. Um, is very different for Dwayne. He's never played a character like this. I think it literally blends kind of the comedy that Ross and Thurber has done in his career, plus action that he just did in Skyscraper and puts it into one movie, and that's Red Notice. And if you had to choose another video game to bring it to bring on screen, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, there's a lot of video games that I love. I've always really been a big fan of Halo, and I feel like Halo is a great, like, it's a great game, it's a great character, and you don't know a lot about that character, and I feel like um, Halo is something that could be adapted really well to the big screen. I think it's a big world, but you need to really care about and understand the mythology of that character. I think that one, whoever does Halo, would really translate really well. Thank you very much, enjoy the evening in London. Thank you, love you Italy, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're the director, so <laughs> that's fine. Um, we spoke about the movie this morning, so I would like to know something about your future projects. I don't know what I'm doing next in terms of movies. Uh, the very next thing I'm going to do is a pilot for Netflix of a show that I co-created. Uh, but I can't say anything yet because my deal isn't done. But uh, I'm very excited about it. And if you had to, ch to choose another video game to bring on the big screen, what it would be? West Hoff. Um, Maybe Red Dead Redemption, because I love Westerns. It's an amazing game. Hi, man. Hi again. <laughs> Ciao. So, uh, since that we spoke about the movie this morning, I would like to know something about your future projects. About my future projects? So I have one project that I'm producing right now, co-producing with Ben Stiller's company. It's called Friendsgiving. Um, and it's a comedy. What's that? A Ben Stiller, but behind the cameras this time. Um, and then I'm going to do a musical, a Swedish musical film this summer. Hi again, Naomi. Hi again. So, uh, what's your favorite monster of the? What's your favorite monster of the movie? I didn't ask you this morning. About My favorite monster of the movie. It's got to be George, of course. We all fall in love with George. You can't help but to. And what about the idea of uh, Danny Boyle, which work with you on 28 Days Later? Directing the next James Bond installment. Um, I would love that. I, I only heard that recently, and I'm over the moon about that idea. I would absolutely love Danny. I love Danny Boyle. He's such a visionary, and I know that he will do a fantastic job with 125. So my vote is for him. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, you've been Bruce Wayne, Fathers, and Batman v Superman. So there's been a lot of rumor about you playing an alternative Batman in in the DC comics universe. Are you open up to this idea? Am I open to the idea of being a Flashpoint Batman? Yeah. Do I need to answer that? I mean, what do you think? I think yes. I think that that's probably a firm good answer. Yeah, I'd be uh, I'd be open to it.